Over, over the next three years, the way I see the tax function changing is really around automation, right? And uh, so we, we're spending a lot of time on that right now, uh, working with various parts of the company, with our engineering team and others. Uh, but that's where I see a lot of the change, and that's going to have an impact on the sort of people we will look to recruit and the skill sets that they would have. I think those are the, that's a really big change that we'll start to see. And whether that's automation, robotic processing, just putting uh, you know, scripts in place to be able to run things end to end, it's a big initiative within Uber as we look to be able to scale as we continue growing globally. Maybe less of a holistic transformation and more uh, about the time allocation. So we anticipate spending more time in the tax policy uh, arena, spend more time in tax controversies, and uh, really making sure that we're equipped to handle the ever-changing tax laws in kind of a new environment of uh, public disclosure and more informational disclosures. So we've got the country by country reporting, we have public financials in Ireland for the first time, we have this whole kind of global initiative for minimum tax and you know anti-base erosion type uh, environment. So we'll we anticipate spending a lot of time in those areas. I, mean, I think at the moment we spend a, a disproportionate amount of our time on process activities, so compliance activities and so on as well. I think one of the challenges, another one of the challenges we've got at the moment is, is really around the increasing compliance burden that we've got. So we're, we've got a key focus on how we can undertake those activities in a more streamlined, more efficient way. Uh, so that's through, for example, the use of technology and so on, um, you know, or outsourcing opportunities as well.